Hey friends, so this week was our first week of school, homeschooling, back to homeschool, back to school after the baby was born and it was such an exciting time. So basically, um, I had filmed a lot, a much different video or planned to film a different video, but my SD card messed up somehow and so we had to reformat it and in doing so I lost some of the, um, the footage that I had filmed. So you don't get to see everything, but um, I will show you a little bit of what we were able to do our first week. The kids were so excited and um, they are loving their new curriculum. I've had to make some adjustments with some of the curriculum. Um, for example, I changed their reading program just because um, they weren't enjoying it as much and I wanted my first grader to have a little bit more reading experience than just learning the rules of how to read. I actually wanted her to practice reading and so I found a better curriculum for that. And then also my kindergartner was having some problems with like word blending and stuff. So I actually switched us to another different curriculum that again will give her the opportunity to practice reading um, simple sentences and that sort of thing. So I think those will be some good changes for us. But um, yeah, it was definitely a challenge for me because I have never had, I have three students this year. I have a first grader, a kindergartner, and then a pre-preschooler. I don't know. I'm just doing some little, um, school things with my three, two, well, she'll be two in, um, a few days, but I'm doing some preschool prep with her. And then we're going to, um, do a video soon on all that. So you'll see what she's learning. And also just figuring out how to manage everyone. The first day was really chaotic because one, we got started late and two, everyone had so many questions at the same time. And so I was trying to help my, my preschooler and then the kindergartner was crazy and needed help and it was wild. So uh, kind of got it down now to a better routine and um, where I help, we do preschool stuff first and then I have a couple Pro things that the kids can do on their, the older two can do on their own while I'm working with her. And also classroom management. I understand now why teachers wanted you to raise your hand and walk in a line. And when you have one, one adult and multiple children, it's, it can get chaotic real fast. So, um, thankfully the kids are learning how to raise their hands and that sort of thing. So we're, um, we're doing some classroom management stuff. I might look to see if there's any more um, options out there or any other classroom management techniques that teachers have. But I'm gonna go ahead and jump into what we did for the day and just some footage that we filmed and see if maybe I have anything left over on my SD card. Um, no, I have not uh, actually looked through all the footage. So I'm hoping that there'll be some good stuff in there. So come along. Hey friends, so today is our first day of school. Back to school officially. She doesn't know what to think. So today is our first day of school and I'm really excited. I was hoping to make it something super special but I just kept getting busy and didn't get there. So, but I did find out that a family on our far, or on our, in our church has a farm. So I think we're gonna go to that uh, this week for our nature study on um, Friday. Um, she said Fridays were great for her, so we're gonna go. Um, last night, we yesterday, we had a really busy day at church because we had like live group at people's homes, and so we went to two different ones and ended up. Um, go be dressed. Everyone's having a hard time getting motivated this morning. I think it's because we went to. <clears throat> Excuse me. We went to someone's house yesterday and for like a meal and fellowship and then we went to church last night and did the same thing and we didn't get home till late and we're exhausted and we eat food that we normally don't eat and so we're all kind of still waking up and getting ready. But I'm gonna show you what I did for our school. Got it? It's really exciting because Mary Jo, I didn't think she could potty train in four days but she did, She's, we're still not at a level where I'm comfortable like going out without a diaper, but she um, she did really well. Like she will go to the bathroom by herself, uh, but she's getting where she'll go to the potty on her own and uh, one and two, which is nice because I've never had a child, both my, the other two children I potty trained took a while to go number two on their own, whereas she just kind of does everything. It's kind of amazing. Uh, I don't know what I did or how that happened. Maybe it's just her, but. Either way, it's really exciting. So let me show you what I set up for today. So this is something that uh, I'm gonna do with all of them. 
for Lydia and Eliza, it'll just be reinforcement and kind of information about the day. But for Mary Jo, um, it's going to be teaching her a bunch of new things. I don't think she'll kind of... So it'll just get her ready for learning about time and days of the week and all that. But definitely feelings and seasons and emotions and weather and all that will definitely be very helpful. You look very nice. We got out their winter clothes the other day. She really likes that dress. Yeah, we wore them last night on church. Mm-hmm. Even I got money in this purse. Mm-hmm. We found some money at the park. But in here, I got two cards. Look. Let me see. See? Yep. You found your cards. Wow! Right. Why did you find in the card where I put it? It's supposed to be in this card. I don't know. Right here. Mm-hmm. All right, let me finish this. All right, so... No, it's I'm not. I'm just so excited. Is it really your first day of school? Yeah. You excited? Yeah. They do. They have computer lessons and no, stuff on the tablet. And they have games. Not like yeah. they have oh. No, it's we do homeschool. Home all right, Lydia, go we'll make your bed. Mm-hmm. Go make your bed real fast, like all right? To win stuff together. Okay, go on. What then, you know? All right, so uh, you'll see in a little bit. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. They've been asking about this thing. You've been asking me about this thing for like the last month that I've had. And I'm just so excited for our first day. That mm -hmm. this is for me. That this is yeah. Okay. So anyway, these are some books that we're gonna use. I think I had showed you, but I already got everything in my little binder. And we actually switched from plants to animals for science this year. And then I got my little. Whoops. I got my little. This. Bye. The Chewy Q up. I got a little this thing made. This is my little schedule for the week. And we're going to read through all this right here. So, like, I think I'm going to redo this by days of the week just to make, instead of by subject, to make it a little more interesting. But, um, so if like Monday through Thursday, we'll pretty much be doing the same thing. And then on different days, we'll read different books for literature and social studies and art. And these are some other things I wanted to include because. Um, they were just really interesting, but that's this, and then I also have the book list of what I'm going to be using for, um, our books. Hold on. And this, writing, uh, writing down there. Go get him. Okay, just one minute. Anyway, all this to say, writing down our stuff, uh, for the week. It took a little bit longer than I realized, but I think I've just been playing with how I'm going to write that out. But I wrote down all their, all their work. Lydia's is on this page. Eliza's is here, and then Mary Jo's is here. I definitely want to put a little bit more stuff into hers, but um, for right now, that's what we got. I didn't get as far on her stuff as I wanted. I really wanted to do some shelf work with her for, like, fine motor skills and all that. <sighs> And then these are just how I set up their little I books. I got, um, so for Mary Jo, I just have a little ABC, ABC Bible, Mother Goose, and an old McDonald book. So I might put like some little reading books for her here. And then um, I, these are some books I bought for them. So no, we're not getting in there. Uh, I've got social skills, and then right, Liza's kinder, kinder writing, kinder math. I got a little composition notebook. I got a little composition notebook for her and this little highlights thing. I had bought these a few years ago, but oh, this is Lydia's. I think I'm gonna do these maybe for both of them as I find little as I find little things at like bookstores and thrift stores that people have donated. I'll give this to them. What is how many journals that alone? And these are Lydia's. I got her some sight words and then her language arts. A lot of this stuff for easy peasy is online. This is her summer. This is like a transition from K to first. Usually nor, uh, regular school kids will do it through the summer, but we'll just do it through. We, we, we just do it whenever the kids transition. This is um, for her copy work. I'll write in something and she can write it down. I found a little map studies thing that I thought would be interesting, and then they're both doing the social skills program. All right, we got a breakfast of 
eggs and peanut butter toast for some good fat and protein. A little bit of carbs for some brain food. So it is day three of school. I did not have time to uh, film this uh, at the end of Monday or Tuesday basically because our school day went all day and I learned a lot about how to get it into um, morning and partly in the afternoon. So. Um, and then yesterday I had my midwife appointment and everything was good. Ephraim, I think is at about I think he's over 10 pounds now so he's gaining weight really good and they said that he looks good and everything's well and then i get to go in two weeks for my discharge paperwork so that's good but that being said the girls really like school um we use partly part of our curriculum is on easy peasy and they have some games that the girls really like a little bit too much so i'm trying to figure out how to work it so they can still play games um, and not be begging to do the games all throughout school because that's all they want to do and we have a lot of book work and reading that we have to do as well so um that's something that i'm trying to figure out but the other thing i think is really just figuring out how to <sighs> manage multiple small children who can't read at one time and so my biggest goal is to get Mary Jo's school knocked out because I feel like once she's once her school's knocked out she can pretty much play on her own because she's had mommy time and she's kind of gotten some um intellectual stimulation I guess I've been doing sorry my lips are really chapped uh I've been doing a lot of um with her, I've been doing some reading and like Old MacDonald had a farm. We did that book and we talked about the animals and what they say. We read some other goose so that way she can get, I guess the rhymes are supposed to be good for the kids. So I'm reading that to her. We're doing some phonics flashcards. So she's learning her alphabet sounds. Um, and I also very loosely follow the easy peasy preschool curriculum. Um, I'm not getting, uh, I don't do the worksheets or the workbook. I just do, um, like right now we're on the letter A. And so when they switch off the letter A, then we'll go to B and so on. And so I'm pretty much just doing what they're doing and adding in my own stuff. So that's what I'm doing with her. But anyway, I feel, I feel like doing her 
preschool first helps her to kind of figure out, uh, helps her to not need me as much because then she can play on her own and not need mommy. And then I kind of bounce back and forth between Lydia and Eliza, or yeah, Lydia and Eliza. Lydia's is a little bit more intense and Eliza's is pretty simple just because she's only four. But Lydia is in kindergarten, uh, first grade now, and I'm doing very light kindergarten work with Eliza. So Lydia is doing first grade and that just means that she is, um, just has a lot more, but I think we're gonna keep going with individual work first. And I think with Eliza, it's gonna work better if she does her workbooks first because she really likes her games. So, um, and then of course, easy peasy's pretty easy. Uh, they're playing outside right now and uh, I'm filming this video and hopefully I will edit this video and get caught up on my YouTube videos. So anyway, but we are enjoying school right now. We're just working out some kinks because mama has never taught three children in a row and our three children together at different levels. And so we're just working out some kinks, but it's going really, really well. I look forward to seeing you in the next video when I'm sharing with you what each of the girls are doing, what our schedule looks like, how I came up with all the stuff that we're doing and um, all sorts of fun stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching and have a good day.